I worked with a construction group and they had, you know, I think it was 16, 14, 16 bullying complaints. And it was over a period of a period of a year. And so they were just like, what is going on here? Um, and so, you know, we worked with them, did a review of the bullying complaints and looked into them and worked out that like 90% or 85% of the complaints were happening after two o'clock in the afternoon. But, you know, this is during mostly during like the summer months. So people are really hot. <laughs> so they're getting to two o'clock and they're tired. They've been, you know, their, their bodies in, is, is fatigued. Um, they also, uh, yeah, they worked out that with, you know, with, with regard to their, the safety management approach, that their hydration program was really limited as well. So people weren't hydrated. So here we are, we're sort of setting people up to fail, aren't we? Um, they had really limited training in place. So nobody knew what was about bullying. Nobody knew what was okay and what was not okay. And so, again, we're setting people up to fail. We're just sending them out and just hoping for the best. And so what they did is after they, um, you know, after we did the review together, I should say, they did some training. And they, you know, everybody started to understand a little bit more about what their duties are and that we have to take reasonable care for each other. What is bullying? What isn't bullying? Um, worked on the bystanders piece a little bit as well. And uh, the leaders too, like what are their responsibilities to keep people safe when they're, when they're working out there, that it's not just about, um, you know, making sure that, you know, the trenches are all safe and things like that. Um, what about, you know, safe here as well? So... Yeah, so after we went through that process, then they sort of uh, took the approach where they you know, they raised the awareness, as I said, and then they started a hydration campaign. So everybody, you know, obviously weren't going through that um, that part of the day where they were just their body was you know not coping very well, and there was a massive reduction. And I think it was like over the next eighteen months after they did that, there was like a ninety percent reduction in bullying complaints. And so they've just continued on with that. And obviously, and I know that I've heard you speak about it as well, we can't just not set and forget. We have to continually keep working on this uh, and keep working on how, how do we set tasks up and how do we do we make sure we have to make sure we have enough people to do the tasks. We have to make sure that they're hydrated. We have to make sure that they have rest breaks so that we're not, um, again, setting them up to fail, putting them into these positions where, you know, as a human, that's sometimes just, you know, that's how they react because they're just... Uh, they're stressed 